decided to come to the Bay Area and hang out with Messina and we're going to do some awesome recipes today and then we're going to talk about those beautiful earrings she got on right there. Get, let's give it, give it one more, give it one time, give it one time, give it one time. Yes. <laughs> so what are we cooking today? What we got going today? So we're going to do an avocado salad. Oh boy. And a cauliflower soup topped with um, sauteed mushrooms and spinach. Oh, snap. Don't that sound good, y'all? Because we need to eat healthy, us black women. We got to stick together and eat healthier. We do. We do. We and it's very simple. <laughs> yeah. Because I was telling Cena, I was like, you know, you guys, I've been thinking that the recipes is hard. But she's like, girl, it is not hard. Mm -hmm. So she's going to show us and then after the video you'll be able to see what the recipe she used and try it out for yourselves and um, I'll give you all of our information. Just look at the box info box below. But we're going to get started. Yes. Of olive oil. You can measure it if you want. I really just eyeball everything I do. But if you would like to measure it and you feel more comfortable you can do a cap before you pour that in there. <clears throat> okay. So first we're gonna start with our onions. Oh, let's get a little bit of onion. What kind can they use any kind of onion you or can use any kind of onion? I love red onions, but you can use white onions or okay. yellow onions. Well this. what you got there? What's that? Got red onions. Okay. Garlic. Red onions. So Ooh, civil. Okay. <laughs> tap it tap your things together too. And these are about um <laughs> <laughs> Tap them together. So that was about two cloves, two large cloves of garlic. Okay. Alright, probably maybe not gonna have it so high like I did. Just a little bit. See, I'm still eyeballing. You can do. Is that a, a teaspoon, teaspoon or a tablespoon? You can do a tablespoon of butter. A tablespoon of butter. And then we're just gonna let this cook down. My onions get translucent. Big word, y'all. That mean when it's see-through. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's what it says on the recipe. The recipe doesn't always call for this, but we want it to add a little. We spicing it up today. We oh, going. Okay. We doing a little. Pew. You have to be careful when you have these because the seeds is what um makes it a little spicy, and sometimes um. When you're cooking it down, you get a little coughing going on. <coughs> and that's from the seeds, and all, all you have to do is just cover your pot, and you'll be good. We have our cauliflower. Oh, Ooh, snap! I was going to pour that on in there. Now, what kind of cauliflower do you get? Is it like special cauliflower, or is no, it's it? It's just regular cauliflower. You know, they have the different color cauliflowers. Like yeah. The purple and the orange. So you could actually do. Whatever you like with this food, because what's gonna happen is we're just gonna um, puree all this. So once this cooks down, it's gonna get pureed. Next up, all right. So I poured the rest of this in here because it's been brought to a boil. Mm, check that out. Mm. <clears throat> now we're gonna add our seasoning. So I have some ground cumin. I do not measure. <laughs> Season to taste. Right. <clears throat> or if you got a good nose. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to put some lemon pepper. And some oregano. Got to have some nice herbs in your soup. I got a little heavy with the oregano. Oregano is good. And then we have some thyme leaves. We okay. have fresh thyme which I usually have, but this is fine because um, when it's dry and it's boiling, it's, it's fine. It's going to boil down and it won't be like all hard and, you know, clumpy in texture. All right, so we're going to stir that up. And we're going to let this cook down. Last um, herb you're going to add when it's finished is some parsley, so we'll get to that later. All right, stir that up. Turn down our stove a little and let that cook down. All right. But Messina decided that she's going to be making a Caesar salad. Are we eating a Caesar salad? Avocado, but. <clears throat> avocado mm -hmm. salad mm -hmm. and um, she's just gonna show us some of the prep for that as you can see we have already have everything in place we're just That's gonna do right. a zoom in for you guys so we have some onions here 
some yellow bell peppers, and we're gonna make our own dressing. That's right, people. HD. I happy. took out most of the larger seeds. There's only those little tiny seeds that you're not even gonna notice. Just crunch yeah. on them, y'all. <laughs> it's good for you. It's fiber. All right, so we're gonna do one whole lemon. Let's see, that's what I need, because I just do it old school way. I just squeeze it. Right. Well, you could do it that way, but... But look, you look at all the juice that you're getting when right. you're doing that. it just gets more of the juice out. And make sure y'all pick a good lemon. If you don't know how to pick a lemon, Messina going to explain to y'all how y'all pick a good lemon. Oh, yeah, and before... So I didn't get to show you that part, but when you have your lemon, before you cut it, it's always good to roll it like this and then cut it because then that kind of... Oh, breaks up the juices right so we have our lemon juice <clears throat> we have some balsamic this is you can get at any store um y'all know what balsamic is y'all be using that you know yeah, on y'all cukey salads right. and stuff like that if y'all so, don't make cukey salads but just to let y'all know so she's gonna add some balsamic in here and um, you can do about let's see because you see I eyeballed it again. <clears throat> and maybe Ooh. a tablespoon mm -hmm. of that. Then we have some olive oil. Wait, wait, wait. I'm zooming in. But oh, okay. Let me zoom out. We zooming out, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And what you got there in your hand there? Olive oil. Okay. That's all I cook with. I don't use a regular oil unless me it calls neither. for you it. You try coconut oil? Coconut oil is good, too. You can also use coconut oil for your salad dressing. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. So we're going to stir that have this little handy dandy mixer it's a mixer you guys can probably find something like that on amazon mm -hmm. so let's we're gonna back it up a little bit unless we're gonna hold it up in the air Ooh, look at all that juice so you're just gonna stir it up and this is just you know simple simple making your own remember what is more nutritious is the darker it is the more nutritional value it has so mixed greens are definitely that's a gem y'all remember that <laughs> a better choice so, in salad, because, I mean, iceberg is basically, it's just water. Mm -hmm. really and they go bad quick. Y'all know that. Y'all put it in the fridge for two days. One day right, later, it's, it's, it's done. And you can get a, a big pack of, you know, mixed greens, and that stay good for a week. That's right. This has um, spinach, arugula, a lot of good stuff in there for you. And you can always add, like, some more spinach and whatever you like. So, that's where we're going to start with that. Um, then we have our bell peppers. <clears throat> this is an easy salad. If you just have some vegetables in your refrigerator, chop whatever you have up, you can add it to your salad. What I like to do is um, sometimes I'll just chop, um, pre-chop everything, have everything ready so that way when I'm ready for a salad, I can just toss them in. You can just mix that up in your hand. We have some red onions. Mm -hmm. Toss that in there. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Get y'all zooming in on that good salad. <laughs> these, I don't know exactly what these are, but these are pepitas. With pepitas. Salt. They taste a little can, like... Y'all can Google that. <laughs> <laughs> I just buy things and try them. Um, but yeah, you can... Um, I got these at Grocery Outlet, actually. They have a lot of good seeds. Grocery so, um, Outlet. These, take a little, these taste a little bit like uh, pumpkin seeds. Okay. So I'm just going to... This is gonna add your crunch and your texture. <clears throat> We're gonna add some cheese. So I'm adding, as you can see, like all the kind of dry ingredients first, and then the salad dressing will be last. So here we have some raisins. You can choose what you like. You can do cranberries, raisins. Um, I like to always add like a sweet element to my salad. A fruit, apples, raspberries, strawberries. But today we'll do um, a little bit of raisins. These are some golden raisins. Ooh, avocado, y'all. Like I avocado. love me some avocado. Look good. Look at that. We're going to have to go mobile and we're going to have to take a look at this, y'all. Because this is just too good to stay stationary. <laughs> Yes. I'm gonna break up the avocado. Let it coat the uh, mixed greens that you have. And then we're gonna add a little bit of salad dressing. And then Miss Tamara is gonna taste it. Whoa, whoa! <clears throat> and 
let y'all know what it is. All right. Got me a little bowl, too. Okay. Oh, Lord. Y'all know what it is. Let's check on our cauliflower. As you can see, it's nice and tender. I can just break it up with my spoon. And that is how you know that it is ready. And if you want it to be a thicker consistency, you would just add um, more cauliflower or just less um, vegetable broth. So we're gonna use my handy dandy mixer. This is my best friend, really, because <laughs> <laughs> watch the magic. It's just splash. Is it going to splash? Uh, it should have. Uh, See that there? It's whatever you want. So what we're going to do is we're going to top ours off with spinach oh. and mushrooms. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You can add some onions too. I've done that before. The, just the red onions or the yellow, whatever kind of onions you like. And you top it off with that. And this is really filling. No carbs, no meats, and you will be full. <clears throat> so I will I, be full. I just learned that I had been cooking spinach the wrong way. Really? Yes, you are supposed to cook it lightly and it's just supposed to be a light wilt to it because when you cook it down too much it um takes out all the nutrients wow i never knew that i usually cook it like all the way down right me too not anymore i just lightly let it you know wilt because it will cook a little bit after that too and that's it <clears throat> and you get you know your leaves are bigger also which is always a plus if you like spinach so I'm going to let this sit while I add one more ingredient in our soup. Got to get it off there. Alright. Yes. Alright. So we have our soup here which is on low now. I'm going to add some parsley. I add parsley to everything almost. I mean you can. This has a slight flavor but it's Ooh, really good spinach. for The top. Those yummy mushrooms. There we go. If you're friends with me on Facebook, you probably saw a version of this on my page. This is definitely different, color-wise and everything. In there. Bam. All right, and then we're gonna put some cheese. Look how good that look, y'all. Y'all know y'all want some of this. Mm, yes. So I have this cheese here, Parmesan. You can get this uh, Safeway, um, Trader Joe's, anywhere really. I have a little piece here that I'm going to use though. I just wanted to show you guys. I mean, you just grate it. Now we're going to try it. Here we go. That's right. We're going to try it. Try this right here. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. Like heck. Mmm. -hmm. Oh. Mm. Mm. I bet you you could make I got some recipes for some India, so I bet you could make you some India. Yes, we're gonna have that. Girl. You can make some dal and some Oh that means some lentils, girl. Mm. Lentils <laughs> Yes. And we have this sour cream or oh, sour cream. Mm. <laughs> Greek yogurt here. I'm just gonna put a little dollop in mine because it mm, it's great and you can add some too if you like. It just will add a little creaminess, but it will cut the spice just a tad bit. Mm. 